Blender has tons of useful shortcuts. Learning them can really speed up your work. That's why today I'll be showing you 25 shortcuts to make you faster and more efficient on Blender. X to delete, Shift A to add stuff. Let's add a cylinder. If you click away, you'll lose the parameters box. Press F9 to open it again. G to grab, R to rotate, S to scale, Alt G to clear movement, Alt R to clear rotation, and Alt S to clear scale. In edit mode, you can press 1 to select vertices, 2 to select edges, and 3 to select faces. Ctrl R to add loop cuts, and scroll your mouse wheel to increase the amount of loop cuts. Ctrl plus to increase selection, and Ctrl minus to decrease selection. Alt shift click selects an edge loop. Ctrl click a point, and Ctrl click another point to select the shortest path between them. Press Alt E to have more options to extruding faces, like extrude faces along normals, which will push the faces along the direction. It's pointing. Press O to enable proportional editing. And you can use it by pressing G to grab, R to rotate, or S to scale, and press Shift O to change proportional editing types. Press H to hide and Alt H to unhide with a face or an object selected. Press Shift H to hide everything but the selected faces or objects. This also works in object mode. Let's go back to object mode. Let's say you really like the angle on this object. Press Ctrl, Alt and Numpad 0. And that will bring your camera to where you were looking. A bonus tip here, if you press N to open the side panel, go to view, you can click on lock camera to view and you'll be able to lock your view to the camera. With your mouse over a window, press Ctrl space to make it full screen. With an object selected, press Alt D to make a linked copy. A linked copy uses less resources than Shift D. And if you edit one, you will see that the other one will also get edited. Shift R to repeat the last action. To render only portion of the screen, press Ctrl B and select the portion you want. Ctrl Alt B to clear the selection. And lastly, on the 3D viewport, if you press F3, you'll be able to search by name, whatever you need. On the node editor, if you click on the node and press Ctrl X, it will delete that node, but keep it connected. If you select a node and press Shift S, you can change to another type. And lastly, if you want to mute the node, just click on it and press M. If you want to unmute, just press M again. A bonus tip for the node editor, if you click on the node and press Ctrl H, it will hide all the sockets you're not using and Ctrl H to undo it. These shortcuts will make your workflow a lot smoother and faster. Do you know any others? Leave it in the comments down below. While you're at it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel grow. If you want to be around like-minded people, join our Discord in the description. As always, this is Sam from 3D here and I'll see you next time. Bye.